Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back. We are snowed in once again here in upstate New York. And um, actually, I love it. I don't mind as long as I don't have to be in it. Then I, it can snow till the cows come home because I love the snow. So while I grab some moisturization, um, this is going to be a review um, of a deodorant called Each and Every. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this deodorant before. I actually um, heard about the deodorant from Adrienne Bayonne. Um, she actually had recommended the deodorant and I was like, you know what, let me try it and let me tell you the reason why I tried it. So I tried it because I realized that after going through deodorants, different deodorants, crystal salt deodorants, the charcoal deodorants, nothing was keeping me sure if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nothing was keeping me sure um, about my underarms. So again, when I tell you I've been through the gamut of the, the name brand, Secret, Dove, Mitchum, Degree, uh, what else? Let's just say I've been through them all and none of them were working. And like I said, the different crystal ones, I was using my own all natural mixture. I was trying everything. Um, cornstarch, baby powder, you name it. They have graced the pits on this body. So when I saw that she had put out about this new deodorant, I don't know how new it is, but to me it was new because I had just discovered it from her. So it's called Each and Every, and this is what it looks like. There are several different, um, let's see if I can... If I can get a shot in there, there you go. This one is rose and vanilla. Um, but they have different um, flavors as well. It, it, rose and vanilla is not the only one. Um, I wanna say there's a lavender one and there's um, one of a more masculine scent as well. Um, there are about three or four different um, flavors or scents that you can get. And as you could tell, I love this. It has a very hint scent of vanilla and rose mixed together. Now, if you can imagine vanilla and rose, which I love roses and I love the scent of vanilla. So I couldn't really imagine what this was gonna smell like. But once I received it, I was pleasantly surprised. And um, it's a white, to be honest, it's kind, it looks kind of oily. Um, it looks kind of oily there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if that's a good shot, but it looks kind of oily. But um, it actually, it is not oily. When you put it on, it actually absorbs into the skin really, really well. Um, it's a um, twist type of deodorant stick. So you just twist it up. And I've had this for months. Um, I swipe, swipe on each arm and that's it. You don't need any more than that. It will last you a full day. Trust me, it will. Um, and probably will last you more than a full day if you ever get into those types of situations where you're traveling and you forgot your deodorant or you're out overnight and in between coming home and who knows, a dinner, a date or a business um, type of situation out to, who knows, but anyway. Um, this will definitely hold you over. It has a light, refreshing, floral, vanilla scent. And um, yeah, it actually lasts all day, beyond all day. Um, what I like about this deodorant, it's there's no aluminum, no parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no baking soda, and no gluten. Now, Okay, I was gonna say we're not eating it, so what difference does it make? But I guess if you are gluten sensitive, 
when you put the product on, any product that you put on, especially under your underarms, um, it will seep into your body. So if you're gluten sensitive, then you would not have to worry about this product because um, there is no gluten in this product. This product is also cruelty and vegan free. So it's not tested on animals. Um, uh, do not apply to broken skin. If irritant occurs, discontinue. Um, I've had no irritation from this. And I can tell you, I have used so many deodorants and either they didn't work, um, and I'm being honest about myself. I, I know when my deodorant isn't working, like you would know when your deodorant isn't working, you get a little stale, musty smelling. That's not right or proper now, is it? So I was like, mm, something is not right with the deodorant, you know? Um, so yeah, so again, I was more than happy to make the investment for this deodorant. Um, also, what I will say is that a lot of the other deodorants that have parabens, that have um, aluminum and things like that, they were causing my underarms to itch. When I say itch, mm, I mean to itch really, really bad. Like I wanted to like, I was clawing at my underarms and it was so uncomfortable by the time I would either get home or you know get to the restroom and just try to wash it off my underarms would therefore burn from the soap that I was using to wash it off because I had scratched my skin raw yep so this will not um, make your underarms irritated where you're itching and you're scratching and you're feeling majorly uncomfortable so I recommend this deodorant to those of you ladies who are sensitive or you ladies who have allergies to gluten, um, those who are all natural, um, they don't want baking soda, parabens, synthetics, or aluminum. I know when I was shopping for a deodorant, when I switched over from like the name brands and went like all natural, like salt base and stuff, I didn't want aluminum, <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't want any aluminum in my deodorant um, because that is cancer causing um, and parabens. I didn't want the parabens because that also is cancer causing. And I figured, listen, I use enough products on my skin and things like that to where I don't need any more parabens than what I'm already using. I'm sure you'll agree. When you think about it, you know, you got to read your labels, read your labels. And this is one thing when I did research on this product and you can go online and you can see the ingredients in the product. You can see the label. They don't hide anything. They don't hide anything. Um, there's tapioca starch, um, Juniperus, Virginia, Virginia, well, I don't know, some kind of oil, vanilla fruit extract, rose flower oil. So there's a lot of good things in this deodorant. And there's also citrus bergamot fruit oil in this deodorant. So again, um, this is, I'm gonna say this is gonna be a winner for you guys. If I decide to try any other scents, I will come back and let you know how that works out. Because sometimes when there's a product one scent may work or one flavor if i'm just gonna say flavor will work um or one formula will work and then when you try another formula or another scent it doesn't work so um in my quest to be satisfied with deodorant i'm definitely going to think about giving um a try with another scent just to have a little variety in my deodorant cabinet not because this one doesn't work because I love this one but variety is good or I can keep one at home and keep one in my travel bag or <clears throat> what I've also learned to do here's a tip for you all who don't know keep an extra deodorant in your glove compartment or like me if you have a little emergency box in your trunk throw an extra deodorant in your emergency box in your trunk because you just never know 
when you're gonna need it. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it about this review on each and every Rose and Vanilla Aluminum Free Deodorant. And if you haven't, go out and get yourself. All right, um, I will see y'all on the next video. And uh, thank you for coming by the channel. Please comment, like, and please subscribe. Alrighty, take care. Stay warm, stay safe, and be well.